Hello. Let's take a look at how we can use JSON schema files for providing intelligence and validation to our JSON documents. Uh, JSON schema is conceptually the same as an XML schema or XSD file, uh, but it's all expressed in JSON. And so let's take a look at what I've got here in the project. I have document.json and schema.json. Um, and so my idea is that I want to define the rules and the format and so all this sort of stuff in my schema file. And I want to fill in all the values that it adheres to that format in my document file, document.json in this case. Um, so right off the bat, if you just have an empty JSON file, you get no IntelliSense, right? There's, it doesn't know what you're about to do. So it has no concept of IntelliSense for this, obviously. Um, so let's go ahead and define the schema file. So the very first thing we have to do is to add a dollar schema property. And I have to select the JSON schema.org draft four value here. This will now make this, this, this schema file is now an official JSON schema. That's all we have to do to make it official uh, schema. But of course, it doesn't really do anything yet. Uh, I haven't defined any properties. And so let's go ahead and do that. So because I now uh, have defined what my schema is, in this case, the draft four schema, Visual Studio knows how to provide IntelliSense for me. And so I'm going to add a property here called URL. And this is of type string. And the format is URI. Okay. So I'm going to save my schema file. And now I'm going to go back to my document file. And I have to tell my document what schema to use. And so I can just go up here and select an existing schema or type in the address of a, any schema that I want. Or since it's in the same project, I'm just going to drag schema JSON up to that drop down and hit enter. And now I get IntelliSense for the URL property that I just defined. You see here it gives me an error, a validation error. It says, hey, this has to be a valid URI. So here's my website. So, oh, but it's actually not a valid URI because I forgot the protocol. And here we go. So now I have both IntelliSense for my properties as well as um, validation going on here. And I can make it even uh, better. I can add a description here. And we can call this uh, the address of your website. So now when we go back here and hover, we can see that we actually get that nice tooltip uh, about what the URL property is doing. But we can go even further. Um, and so we can say, let's say we have something where you're going to select uh, an enum value. Let's, let's do a version. So this is a type enum. Oh, sorry, I don't have to do that. There we go, enum values. So let's say version, what version of this document, for instance, uh, of this schema are you gonna use? We can now do this. If we go back after saving, I can now see that I have versions showing up here. And I get IntelliSense for the two possible values that I can choose. There's a lot more to JSON schema than just strings and enums as I showed here. Uh, there's uh, arrays and objects and a bunch more stuff. And you can actually be very expressive in the rules that uh, you want to apply to your document. So whether you want to have your schema file in the same project or solution as your uh, documents, or you want to put them on a network share or a web address somewhere, it all works in Visual Studio. You just type the path of the URL to the schema up here and apply it to the document. And it will be saved in the project system so that anyone on the team opens the same project, the same uh, schema will apply to those documents. Um, and so this is a really rich experience. Um, and this is a really great place to write JSON schemas. So this is available in Visual Studio. Um, 
not just the latest version, but since 2013. And so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.